Dara Deegan with Elkhart South Bend Stream Survey Team. We're over here in South Bend, uh, close to the Indiana Toll Road. Right where the South Bend Wastewater Treatment Plant discharges its water back into the river. We're going to see if we can go get some steelhead for tissue samples to see if they're safe to eat for the residents of South Bend. It's a really good time to look for steelhead in this location. In the middle of the summer, steelhead will run out of Lake Michigan, and when they hit the St. Joe River, they find that's a little bit too hot for them, so they need to find cooler places, typically at the mouth of a cold water stream like Jude Creek. Another good place is where a wastewater treatment plant discharges because the, the water coming out of the plant is cooler than the river. So we had quite a bit of success there. We got some nice steelhead. Steelhead are not actually native to the St. Joseph River, they're native to the Pacific Ocean. They were initially stocked back in the 70s as a control for alewives, which are a non-native species. So we're actually introducing another non-native species to, to help control the alewives. But it has evolved into a really important fishery for the Great Lakes and for the St. Joseph River. They're stocked annually by the Indiana Department of Natural Resources. When they're put in, they're about 10 inches long, and they go out to the lake and feed heavily on alewives and other forage fish for a couple of years, and then return uh, to the St. Joe about 30 inches long. They are a, a good fish to eat, so there's a lot of people that target them here in the St. Joe River. So I'm gonna go ahead and release this steelhead. We've actually moved downstream a little bit. We're at the mouth of Jude Creek, which is putting really cold water into the St. Joe. Well, the St. Joe River is about 80 degrees. It's about 55 degrees here. Uh, the steelhead will do really well here. 